All right then, so now I'd like to talk a little bit about padding and margin. So the way this works in Beautify is by using CSS classes and they follow this structure right here. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see this. It's the property, then the direction, then dash, then the size. So first of all, the property, that's either margin or padding and we use either M or P to refer to those. So say for example, we want to create a class which is gonna control the margin. The first property for us would be M. Then it's the direction. So the direction would be where do we want to apply this margin or padding? Do we want it to the top, in which case it would be T, the bottom B, left L, right R, X applies the space into the left and the right, so the X direction, and Y applies it to the top and the bottom, so the Y direction. A stands for all, and it applies the margin or the padding in all directions. So say for example, I want to apply a margin to the left and right of an element. Then I would say M, X for left and right, hyphen, then the size of the margin. Now the size can be anything between zero and five, five being the biggest, and one being the lowest. Now it uses this space of variable to control the size of the margin and times it by this number right here. So you can see as we go up, then it times it by a larger number, which is why we get a larger margin. And the same is true for the padding. So again, we could say something like MX hyphen three, and that would give us a margin of strength three in the X direction, so left and right. If we wanted to apply padding in all directions to a strength of two, then it would be P, A for all, hyphen two. Make sense? Okay, cool, so let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna go over to our project, and you see this is right flush against the navigation. I'd like to move this out a little bit. Now, we could do that by going into our different components. Let's get rid of these files first of all. We could go to team and do it here, dashboard and do it there and projects and do it there as well. But instead of doing this three times, instead what we could do is just go to app.view and we could do it once right here, okay? Because right here inside V content, that is where our other content is being loaded in, this stuff. So what we could do is just apply a margin to this thing, which is gonna move whatever is nested inside here. So we can just do it once and every single page is gonna get this margin, okay? So let's add a class here then, and do this in non-caps. So class is gonna be equal, and we want margin, we want it in the X direction, hyphen, and a strength of four. So if I save that now and preview this, then we're gonna see this come away from the navigation, and no matter what page we're on, it's doing it for each one, okay? Cool, so that's the first thing done. The next thing I'd like to do is apply a margin bottom to this content as well. Now, the way we do that is by saying M, B, and then hyphen, whatever the strength is. I'm gonna say four again, and we get a margin of four at the bottom, or strength four. Now, we're not gonna notice that now, but we will notice that later on. Okay, so I'd like to just style this a little bit differently over here. So I'm gonna go to my projects component, and I'm gonna give this a class right here, and the class is gonna be subheading, so that's gonna make it a little smaller, and also we want gray text, so gray hyphen hyphen text. Now I'm gonna copy this stuff right here because I'm gonna apply this text to each one of the H1s on the pages. So let's do the same thing there, and then go to team and do exactly the same thing here as well. Save that, and that should start to look a bit better. Cool, that looks nice. If we go to dashboard and team, they have the same styling. Awesome. Okay, so we can also apply padding or margin to the main content as well. At the minute, we're just applying it to the H1 at the top, but ideally we want some margin around the main content, which is gonna sit in the middle as well. Now, when we come to create the content, we're gonna be probably using the grid system. Now, whenever we use a grid, we generally place it inside a container element. And a container element keeps everything within a central width on the page. And it also helps to structure our content for different screen sizes. So the way we create a container is by saying V hyphen container. By the way, I'm on the team page at the minute, but we'll do this on each page, so don't worry. And then inside we'll say, content. So let me just save this and view the team page first of all, and we can see this content right here. So 
I'd like to apply a margin to this content at the top to bring it down quite a bit. So to do that, I'm going to give this a class equal to M and then we're going to do this in the Y direction, top and bottom. So we'll do a Y then hyphen five, which is the top strength. So a large margin, top and bottom. And now you can see it's come down quite a bit. Okay. Now watch this. When I get rid of the menu, this thing right here, this stays in a central column. And I can demo this. What I'm going to do is just add a P tag and then some lorem like so. And then I'll add another P tag as well with some lorem and press save. View this in a browser again. So now we can see all of this is within a central column. We have this margin left and the margin right. And that is what this container is doing for us. It's keeping everything inside that central column. And when we do a grid, we're going to add it inside the container so that that grid is kept within that central column. Now, if you wanted your container to be full width, you can override this behavior by saying fluid like so. And that's going to make it full width like so. We see we have a much smaller margin now. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep everything within this central column. So I'll take away fluid and do it like that. And notice this, when I make the screen smaller, this is going to jump. So at this screen size right here, it jumped in and made that central column smaller. OK, so the margin on each side is larger and then it gets to a certain point where it just goes to 100 percent width. So that's nice and responsive. Keeps everything in the center with the margin left and right. Cool. OK, then, so let me just get rid of this lorem ipsum and just say instead contents and then I'm going to grab this because we're going to do a similar thing on each page. We're going to put our content inside a container. So let's go to dashboard and do the same thing. We have the same margin applied. Save that and also in projects with the same margin. And now let's see this in a browser dashboard. We have the content projects content and team. We have the content. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That is margin and padding for you.